I, I've never seen, I've never seen one that bad. That's actually pretty freaking awesome. Chevy Aveo. Aveo, yeah. Low power, Danny, this Pete's brother was driving it. The exhaust manifold was glowing red and then it lost all power and won't start now. Let me hear it. Ugh. That's not a good sound, buddy. Look down here, see if you get a shot of it. I want you to crank it again. We're gonna see if we can, this cam's turning. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. It might actually just be flooded. I mean, it's turning. You got oil everywhere too. Okay, let's see what let's see what we come up with on this. Okay, some of this you guys already saw. We were walking over with Danny, which is Pete's brother. We didn't know we were doing this 2010 Aveo today. He's been driving it for a long time with the check engine light on. He's been asking me about looking at it for him, but it's been running okay. Uh, but he was just driving it and he was losing power, losing power. He opened the hood, the exhaust manifold was glowing, and then it died and then wouldn't start. That's where we are. Let's do a full code scan, see what we have. Only engine code I have is a 420 catalyst efficiency code. That's probably the, the light that he's been looking at forever. Yeah, it could be flooded. It could be flooded. Uh, I don't like the exhaust manifold was glowing. That's a helpful symptom. Um, but let's, um, let's just do the preliminary stuff we would normally do. I wanna look at the tachometer. We're gonna look at some scan data. I'm gonna put the pedal to the floor and see if we can do a clear flood start on this. Sounds like a couple cylinders are low on compression. I don't see the tack moving at all. That doesn't, it's not foolproof test. CKP sensor RPM, CMP sensor RPM, that's cam and crank. We'll watch them and then look at your RPM. We got everything we need. All right, pedal to the floor. I'm gonna try to start it with the gas pedal to the floor. Ready? like not even wanting to try to start. My guess is we have spark and fuel. It, it could be a completely plugged up cat. I've seen restricted exhausts cause no starts, but I've a restricted exhaust shouldn't make that manifold glow red. Uh, don't like that. Just trying to think about direction here. Next easiest step, coil unplug, oil everywhere, which isn't helpful. I was thinking an easy one for us would be um, to get an amperage reading on this coil. I'm not familiar with this design. I, I believe the transistors are inside of this assembly. So if this is four different coils, we should have four different control wires and we should have four separate grounds and then a feed. How many wires we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But maybe it's a waste spark. Ah, let's, why don't we familiarize ourselves instead of guess, huh? All right, here we go. This will tell me what I need to know. Ignition control module, they call it. So we have IC timing control red, IC timing control purple, temp sense signal. There's a temperature sensor in there. That's weird. IC timing signal, dark blue. So what this is suggesting to me, IC timing control on the red and purple tells me that this is a waste spark design, this housing. So there's only two coils in here. My pink wire, we'd be able to see those, the uh, firings of the coils. So that's really what I was looking for. Uh, what type of uh, system is this? What type of controls? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what each of these are as far as the temp sense signal and the IC timing signal. That's gonna be your signal back to the computer like timing confirmation probably. But seeing only two control wires and four spark plugs, like this is a way spark for sure. So red wire amp clamp be our easiest first step. And I know it, it cranks funny. I don't like that. Like right off the bat, I wanna say, you know, this thing, this thing has no compression, but we have to be careful with cylinder wash being a very real possibility here and um, so I'm just doing the steps as far as uh, fuel and spark go, just to show you that it's there. Uh, then we'll pull this assembly apart to the coil assembly and there's oil everywhere. There might be oil soaked in all of these holes as well, these spark plug holes. Amp clamp, red wire, cranking it over. Oh, hold on. I 
didn't see anything there. Let's go volts DC. I think I was on my graphing meter. Yeah, that's surprising. I did not expect that. Just want to make sure my amp clamp is set up right. I want to also make sure that I'm on the right wire. Pink. Oh, I went on the red. Dumbass. Wrong wire. That's one of my timing control signals. We can go voltage and look at that stuff too, but no, pink wire is the one I want. Sorry, guys. Always check yourself. When you get the result of a test, when you find something that surprises you in a test, you're expecting to see and you don't see it, before you walk that path on no spark, no control, make sure you're on the right wire. Make sure you, your equipment is set up properly. And that's exactly what we did wrong on this. I, I connected to the wrong wire. It's the pink wire we wanted, pink wire. And arrow is conventional theory current flow. So my arrow is backwards. It should be the other way. That's not a problem. I can just invert it on my scope. Okay, crank it. Patterns upside down, not a problem. Why is my inverted thing missing? That's weird. So I don't want to fight with my tool right now. We'll just do it the hard way, which is remove it, reinstall it. with the correct correct direction. I'm not worried about detail here. Just want to show you guys, we have control, okay? We have, we have spark that's taking place. There's current flow that's happening, starting and stopping. Um, there should be spark taking place with that. So that's just preliminary. Do we have spark occurring? Yes. Is the spark getting to the plugs? Maybe not with oil and other, other stuff, but initial view yes we we are good on that front all right another one is going to be injector pulse and this one it's going to be easier given the wiring ah we can strip it back nope i don't have a knife on me i don't either ah, okay switching leads given we have cam and crank signals there should be no reason that we don't have injection pulse here some fundamentals which one's the control wire? I'm, I'm doing voltage now, so I need to be on the control wire. If you look, you see a pink, a pink, a pink, and a pink. So the control wire is gonna be opposite of that for all of these. We'll just go right here on this injector and we will look for a pulse. Volts DC. And we wanna be on like 100 volts for a fuel injector. And then just crank it over. We just should see injector pulse here. There's your, there's your injector pulse. You pause it, I smell fuel too. Pause, zoom. What do we see here, guys? We see injector pulse, 70 volt spike. Yeah, 10 volts looks like it's pulling down like it should be. We have spark, we have injector pulse. We can hear a compression problem, but it might be severely flooded. Given the symptoms, that's probably what's going on. So we're gonna pull this apart now. Now to address a question, you can pull this back up in the footage, the amperage pattern that I had for the coils. I never worried about which one was firing. It should have been coil one, coil two, coil one, coil two, coil one, coil two. Some of you might've been thinking, well, how do you know it was both coils? It could have just been one firing and you'd be correct. We'd have to do some further checks to make sure, but for where we are with this diagnosis, I don't care because if it's only one coil that's firing, we would have a two cylinder misfire it would start and run not good okay i'm not worried about that so if any of you had that question that's why i don't care there's so much oil i will not be surprised if this is full it is full like this this wow. we're done we're done we do not go any further i'm not doing this for him danny's a mechanic he can handle this those spark plug holes are filled with oil, filled. So what do we have going on here? In my opinion, we have a severely flooded engine. Why? Because our spark is never reaching the spark plugs. We've sorted out all the coils. That's my call. I'm gonna say, Danny, change the valve cover gasket. That's a valve cover gasket issue. Okay, that could also explain our exhaust manifold glowing red on us because we're misfiring so badly from oil. 
I, I've never seen, I've never seen one that bad. That's actually pretty freaking awesome. Are you getting good shots get of shot that? Of Question for you, because I'm handing this off to you. All right. Uh, valve cover, gasket, that's what caused this. Okay. And you're gonna need new boots. These are all like these are bad. Okay. As far as the housing being sorted and all of that, probably not. We'll probably be okay. But boots. Okay. Um, probably get a set of plugs. Okay. Valve cover gasket. All right. Um, was this misfiring? Yes. Yes. Badly. Oh yes. That's what was making your cat. So your cat's right here. That's what you saw glowing. Right. I did. The cat was glowing. Yes. So we have concerns on that, which we won't know until we're done. Okay which is, did we melt that cap down okay. from the misfire? Uh, we'll, we won't know until we get it running again. Okay. It cranks like it has no compression. Right. I believe that that is from cylinder wash. Injectors are firing with no spark, and so we wash the cylinder walls with gasoline. Right. I think that's what we have going on. So valve cover, boots, spark plugs, and then we go from there. Okay. Um, I would also recommend oil an oil change okay. because well, I don't know, how long did you crank it like this? Just not long, Paul. Okay. Really, I drove it okay. that bad. Okay. Well, I'll change the oil. Yeah, I mean, I don't see excessive amount of gasoline in the oil from cylinder wash, but that's why I was getting to that. I've never seen ones with, with the spark plugs that full. Um, I think that you might have dodged a bullet, that this is going to take care of everything for you. All right. I do have a 420 code in memory, which is a cat efficiency code. Remember you had to check engine light forever? Yeah, right. That's the code. So what's a cat, so it means- That means you need a cat. Yeah. Most of the time, that means you need a cat, but, but uh, that's not gonna, an efficiency code compared to a restricted cat are two different things. You okay. can run it that way until you need an inspection. Just okay. drive it. Don't okay. worry about that cat code right now. Let's get this thing, okay. let's get this thing running. Okay. Like I said, we'll go from there. Right. The other thing that we didn't check, we verified spark, we verified injection pulse. What we never tested was fuel pressure, of course, which is right. easy to do. But in our scenario, I smell gas, I see what's going on. I'm really not worried about fuel pressure. That's for everybody else following along. When your car's not starting, before you jump mechanical, you gotta verify spark, verify injection pulse, verify fuel pressure. Then you go mechanical, what did we skip? Fuel pressure, in this case, I'm not worried about it. So we're handing this back off to Danny to handle. Get that part done. Let me know how, how once you get it running, I'd like to come back down, at least get a shot of it running. And then we can do some more checks on your exhaust and your cat okay. when it's running. All right. And we'll go from there. Okay. Cool? Thank you, Mr. Paul. Yeah, brother. Thank you. Okay. That's it for us for now. Like I, you guys heard the conversation, we'll come back and try to get a follow-up uh, once he gets this thing running. I don't think we have a mechanical problem with this engine.